Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So I got contacted by Arvo Garden Solutions asking me if I wanted a new workbench. Now, as I've just moved house and didn't have one, I said yes. Now, they've got a nice range of ones and I was very tempted to get one of these MDF top ones because I love the idea of the folding wing. So when you need that little bit of extra room to cut sheet goods, you can just flip it up. I thought that was very clever. But what I went for was one of these indoor-outdoor benches. So it's made out of treated timber, so I'm gonna set it up in my living room temporarily, and then when I build a workshop, I can either move it out there, or I can set it up in the garden to have an outdoor workspace. So for doing some woodworking in the garden, or as a potting table, or even some extra space when having a barbecue. Now when I got it, the first thing I noticed was there was no packaging, which I was really impressed by, because after just moving in, I had so much cardboard to get rid of. And then I read the little note and it's actually a conscious decision to actually cut back on packaging. So I was quite impressed by that. Also, when you place the order, you receive an email with a PDF of the plans so they don't send any paper plans and a link to a YouTube video, which I wish more companies produce YouTube videos on how to put things together. So I sat down with a cup of tea, got that watched. Then I could start getting it put together. Now the first job was to get the legs fitted, so they just slide in and get pushed to the end. Now obviously this comes with all the screws that are needed, and they're just all exactly the same, which is great, no thinking needed. So the first one just gets screwed into place from the inside. Then, after this success, I was feeling pretty confident, moved on to the second one, and nearly messed up straight away. Luckily, I realized I had it upside down in time, and then I could get that one secured. These braces now need to go into place. I'm putting them at the back of the bench. They've already been pre-drilled, so I can just get the screws put in place, offer them up, and then drive the screws home. Before I move on to the next stage, I need to flip the bench over, and it's already getting pretty heavy, which is definitely a good sign in a workbench. The bench comes in lots of different configurations. I've gone for the two shelf option, and I don't know if I mentioned, I've also gone for the six foot long option. So I get the first shelf put in place, I have it pushed all the way back, but you could have it centered or pushed forward, and then I get the screws driven in. The second shelf can then go on in the same way, and this can give me so much storage space. The last job is to get these end braces installed. Sorry about the camera angle with the light in the way. I was getting carried away with the build. So I offer it up and get one screw in the corner. And then just to double check, I then get my square out, check everything for squareness, and then I can get the other screws driven into place. I mean, it was perfectly square, but best to be safe. So that's it all put together, but I'm going to add some bits to it. I'm going to add a power strip to the back, so I'm going to use the little trick of putting some masking tape on the back of the power strip and poking it out where the holes for the screws need to go. I can then transfer that tape to the back of the bench and mark out where the holes for the screws need to go, get them drilled and put into place.
Now I've got power, I can start filling those shelves up. So I've got my air filter, which fits perfectly under there. I've got this original angle poise lamp, which is gonna be great for the bench. So I can get that plugged in and then I can start filling up those shelves underneath with all my toolboxes. So there we go, a really sturdy bench, bigger than any one I've had before, with lots of storage space and still lots of room to fill up. Now, I've got this vise that I need to restore and I'm going to get that fitted to it. So thank you very much to Arbor Garden Solutions for the bench. I'll put a link down to their website below. Thank you to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.